Hello, I'm Valeria from Mandar.io and welcome to this tutorial in collaboration with the board manufacturer Embedded Artists. Today we will show you how to get started on their computer modules and how to deploy your update through Mender. Very briefly, what is Mender? Mender is an end-to-end -end remote software update solution that manages and deploys all device software over the air, securely and efficiently. It adheres to a security by design principle, the triangle of trust, that looks to protect people, devices, and software. In our community, Mender Hub, you can find the resources for helping you integrate Mender into different boards. By doing this, we offer extreme flexibility when choosing your infrastructure, software, and hardware, from prototyping to production, which means there is no vendor lock-in. Mender supports all device software updates, from full disk image to application updates, and provides the freedom to customize the update and installation process to fit your workflow. Mender has advanced features like phased rollouts, which allows you to configure an update rollout schedule across the device fleet over several days or weeks, and Delta updates, that enables faster download time and lower data bandwidth costs over cellular networks with fail-safe support, regardless of OS, chipset, and device constraints. Mender offers now optional add-ons containing a set of features for solving other device management use cases. Troubleshoot, to quickly and securely resolve live device issues with remote terminal access, file transfer, and port forwarding. And configure, to customize each device to its environment with interfacing, reporting, and scripting capabilities. Check them out in our documentation on Mender.io. Okay, now let's get started with the tutorial by Embedded Artists. Hi, I'm Anders from Embedded Artists. I'm going to show how easy it is to start evaluating Mender with Embedded Artists IMX8M family of computer and modules. We have extensive documentation with step-by-step -step instructions. This document can be downloaded from our website. We have pre-built software images with Mender support that you can download and use with our IMX developers kits. These images can be found on imx.embeddedartist.com. In the following demo, we have programmed an IMX 8 mini developers kit with an image supporting Mender, and we'll show you how to configure the device to use a hosted Mender server. First, we log in to the device. We are running a 5.4.24 Linux distribution, which you can see here. The Mender client version is 2.4.1. You can also check which artifact version we are currently using. The pre-built image has already been set up at build stage to use a hosted Mender server but you need to configure the device to use your Mender account. You do this by copying the unique token associated with your account to a configuration file on the device. Begin by opening the configuration file. Go to tenant token and remove the string replace with token. Go to your account at hosted.mender.io. If you don't have an account, you can create a trial account that is valid for 12 months. Click on your username at the top right part of the window and then on My Organization. Then click on Copy to Clipboard. Go back to the configuration file and paste the token in the file. Save the file and exit the editor. As you see, I blur the account name and token since it's unique to our account. You now need to restart the Mender client so that it reloads the configuration. The Mender client will now connect to the Mender server. If you go to the dashboard in the Mender server UI, you can see that there is now a pending device. Here you see the MAC address of the pending device. You can double check this MAC address on the device by using ifconfig. You now need to accept the pending device to have it associated and accepted by the server.
Once accepted, you can see the device in the device list. Click on the device to get some more information. The key point of using OTA software is to deploy an update to your device. I will now show you how simple it is to deploy an update using Mender. In the zip bundle downloaded from imx.embeddedartist.com, there is a pre-built artifact file that contains support for Git tools. The original software programmed on the device does not contain any Git tools. In the Mender server UI, click on Releases and then Upload an Artifact. Click Browse and select the artifact file called release 1.1.mender. It can take a couple of minutes to upload depending on size. Once uploaded, click on the button Create Deployment with this release. Choose all devices as device group and then click Next. I choose the default settings for rollout schedule and click Next. Finally, click Create to create the deployment. You can click on View Details to see more details about the deployment. The polling interval has been set to 30 minutes, so to speed this up, I can force the client to check for an update by running Mender Check Update. Now you see that the status changed from pending to in progress and that the file is being downloaded to the device. Depending on the speed of your internet connection and the size of the artifact file, it can take several minutes. Now the file has been downloaded and you can see that the device is rebooting to install the update. Once rebooted, I now log in to the device and check that the Git is available. We can also see that the version has now changed to release 1.1. This was a short demonstration how easy it is to get started with Mender and to perform an actual OTA update on our IMX 8M Mini Developers Kit. There are of course many more details and features to explore and evaluate. For more information about our product offering, visit our website. Thank you for watching.